Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so basically what we're doing now is we're installing the timing uh, chain set on this small block Ford. And this is probably one of the most important things you're going to do to the engine. This is the, this is everything. This is, this is, this is paramount uh, to the engine's survival and to the engine's uh, firing. So let's actually look at a couple of things here. Um, this is our crankshaft and this is our keyway. Now when this engine makes a full revolution, it puts this cylinder right here at top dead center. So when that keyway is straight up, this cylinder is at top dead center. That's where you want to start. So get your camshaft straight up and down and make sure your number one cylinder is the TDC or top dead center. The next thing you want to do on your camshaft, make sure the keyway of the camshaft is in this orientation here. And the way you're going to look at this is by taking the timing set, which is what I have here. This is a Chloe's timing set. And you're going to look at a couple of things here. Let's get this here so you can see. Here's your timing gear here, and this is what goes on your camshaft. You'll notice there's a little hole here. That's for that dowel pin that you installed when you did your cam. So what you want to do, you want to look at this gear also. This is the one that goes on your crank. There's a little dot here. This dot has a keyway on it. So we're going to go ahead and slide our gear here. Just get it started on. We're going to take our chain and with the two dots pointing at one another perfectly, you want to make sure you're really specific on that. You want to start to slide everything back. Now, your cam is going to need to either move left or right here. And I'm looking at mine. I'm just about there. So you can kind of pull it back out and adjust your cam a tiny bit to get it to be perfectly lined up. You don't want to rotate the gear, you want to rotate the cam because you want to make sure you're in time. And basically, it's just a little bit of finagling, and I'm a little off. Take your time. Make sure a little bit down there. There we go. It's starting to go on now. And we're just about there. And what we're looking at here, I want to stress this are these two dots right here, okay? These two dots have to be perfect. You can't make them one tooth off or, or anything like that. You have to be perfect uh, with your alignment of these dots because these dots are, are, are critical. This is what, for every revolution, these dots need to synchronize with one another. So this is your primary key here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the installation here. Then we're gonna reinstall our cam bolt. But this is what I wanted to show you. Is this, is this, this is just simple and straightforward, but you wanna make sure your engine is in proper timing alignment. Okay, once you have your gears on, you're gonna grab your cam bolt again, and you're gonna thread that in here. And that's going to complete the installation of your timing set. Now, here's where I wanna stop everybody. You're gonna think you're all done here. Everything's good to go. You're gonna impact that down to the proper torque spec, and you're gonna move on to the next stop. Wrong. The next thing in the step, which is going to be another post on this website, it's going to follow this one, is that we're missing something here. We're not going to continue to have an electric fuel pump anymore. We're going with a mechanical fuel pump. The mechanical fuel pump looks like this. There's a lever. There's an arm here. In order for this mechanical fuel pump to work, it needs to operate off of the camshaft. The only way that can happen is if there's a fuel pump eccentric built on to the cam gear. So what we have to do is jump on the Summit or go to your local racing shop, hopefully they'll have one. You need to get yourself a fuel pump eccentric that'll fit your 302. This common 302 uses a 3 8 inch bolt. So don't get the 5 16 one or the 7 16 one, get the 3 8 inch bolt one. But you wanna wanna make sure you grab one of those from Ford Racing. So you can go ahead and impact this down if you want, but don't do it yet. Wait for your eccentric to come in. That's gonna be the next step. So fuel pump eccentric, then you can move on to your timing cover and your water pump and your oil pan and everything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget your fuel pump eccentric. And if you have any questions, let me know. I also went on ahead and I wrote down the brand of this timing gear set and I wrote down the date that I replaced it. It can't hurt. The next guy that's in here replacing it's gonna to wanna to know that it was replaced in 2013. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, be sure to ask.